This is with the uh, Tiffin Circular Polarizer. Uh, there's a little reference dot on the top and I've got it at the 12 o'clock position. And I'm going to rotate it around one time, 360 degrees. Background noise is my dog playing in the yard. I'm going to use a clock uh, because it's easier for reference for me. That's about the 3 o'clock position. Now we're at the 6 o'clock position. There's the 9 o'clock position. And back to about the 12 o'clock position. I added a Canon linear polarizing filter and both filters are at the uh, 12 o'clock position. I'm going to rotate the, uh, the Canon uh, by itself while holding the uh, Tiffin in place. So 12 o'clock position. About 1 o'clock. That's about 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5, yeah, it looks like it goes dark at about 5.30, there's the 6 o'clock, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, eleven thirty, back to twelve. Uh, this time I'm going to uh, hold the uh, Canon filter and rotate the Tiffin filter, which is the circular polarizer. All right, both at uh, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, Okay, that's 6 o'clock with the circular polarizer. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and back to uh, 12 o'clock. Not really an exact science because uh, I have to jiggle the filters because they're moving on their own, but uh, gives you an idea. But it looks like I can go completely black without a whole lot of trouble. That's with the uh, linear at one, two, three, four, five, five thirty consistently. I could mark that. Yeah, all in all, this test works pretty well.